G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the east side of the map, playing as the English, we've got Wham01. On the opposite side of the map, playing also as the English, we've got the Mister. Ladies and gentlemen, this is game number six in your series between these two absolute titans. This is getting serious. The game or the series rather started off with Wham01 taking three games from Mr. and heading immediately to match point with Mr. down four games potentially, or down three games and needing four in a row to win. Well, we've ticked the first one off the list. We've ticked the second one off the list. And now the third one's coming out. And the question is whether the Mr. is going to be able to overwhelm Wham. I'm looking forward to seeing what the outcome is because this, of course, is a mirror. We had a mirror in the last game. We had a mirror in the map in the in the game before that. And that is just simply because when the maps become a little bit more predictable, you can sort of guess where players are going to play civilizations. And there becomes an optimal pattern when people share similar, similar civilization uh, desires or enjoyments. Uh, both of these guys known for their English prowess. And as a result, it's going to mean that they save both of their Englishes to uh, or both of their English Civ picks to Altai eight villages on on uh, on food for the mister very early so i'm curious to see exactly what he goes on to do differently this game compared to his opponent because way i'm going to be doing something similar but it's seven villages on food so small differences interestingly no double scout for either of these players though to be honest if there's any matchup where you would not go for a double scout it is the english mirror there just doesn't seem to be much point in it realistically okay let's say you grab a whole bunch more sheep than your enemy well they're on farms anyway what do they care about sheep they don't care at all in fact it's more beneficial for them to get on farm sooner because of how effective english farming is but uh, we see mr looking to pick up a couple of sheep around the back of the base i mean you're not going to deny free food if it's there right but uh wham now also uh Going to be looking around the base of his opponent, managing to bring back a couple of sheep. Now heading out over onto the wood line as well. Still yet to see Mr. do that, but he is going to be moving over towards this direction. Instead of going towards the front over here, he opts to go out towards the side. Now, I'm curious. I, I guess the big thing here that I'm wondering is, are we potentially going to see an Abbey of Kings? Something I always throw out as a potential option. Not from the Mr., it seems. Not from uh, Wham. So there go my dreams of an Abbey of Kings. And uh, with that, the Council Hall could be coming out strong. Does the Council Hall need a nerf? No, probably it doesn't. You know what? English are already strong enough as it is. If, if anything, the Abbey of Kings needs a bit of a buff. But I guess the next question is, where do we go from here? Because typically what you would expect to see in this matchup is exactly what Wham is doing. It's the second town center. The reason why the second town center in this matchup, or in fact for the English in general, is very strong. With the exception of maybe like the French... Uh, it's simply because of their, their bonus that they get, where their town centers fire extra arrows. And it means that if you ever want to try and take out an English player, you're just going to be bleeding units nonstop. And eventually that English player is going to be able to overwhelm and overtake you uh, with their longbow defense. But now the mister, we'll take a look and see what he is up to, whether he's going to be doing something similar. He's yet to actually scout out that stone from his enemy, so he's got no idea about that second town center play. And I'm curious to see what direction uh, he goes, because at, at the moment, this is a very aggressive build. And this could be kind of bad for Wham, because one, one of the most common build orders that we saw out of the English at the early stages of Age of Empires 4 was this type of build that Mister is doing right now. And the, the only real way I could describe it would be an all-in. It would be an all-in. And the reason why is because he goes heavily, heavily onto food and gold in the first age. Doesn't go for a wheelbarrow. Doesn't chop any wood. Doesn't make any mills. Doesn't make any farms. Absolutely nothing. And now Mist are going to scout out those villagers on the stone. And I wonder what his thought is going to be here. Because Wham, at the same time, going to be scouting that out from his opponent and begins to see already that longbow. And that's a very early longbow. That's a four minutes longbow coming out. Wham going to be turning his attention now towards that. Now, I'm curious to see whether Wham changes his tune upon seeing these wambos or these wambos coming out a lot uh, on seeing these uh these longbows coming out he's going to be able to chase them across the field and delay them a little bit wham actually going to be coming out towards this position he's going heavy absolutely heavy right now on this stone he knows how important it is to get this bad boy in now keep in mind there is no mill so obviously with no mill means no possibility of any sort of uh, of wheelbarrow shenanigan but now mister making his way in on in not too long before he's going to be able to begin firing down upon those villagers. One villager going to be making it back towards his base. He's managed to just get enough stone by the looks of it. 301. Damn, that is a bloody close call. Now, I don't think any villagers went down. We're going to rotate the camera, camera just a little bit. It doesn't look like it. Continuing to attack now. 
Mister going to be moving in. You can see he's got line of sight from the scout here, I suspect. Scout got to be careful not to go underneath that town center. And speaking of scout being careful... Oh, my lord, that one. Making it away with nine health. So another two shots, and he would have gone down. Longbow's making away around the corner. Where I'm going to be looking to drop down. I'm suspecting the TC right here. Ballsy TC. I don't know about this position. Definitely going to be able to hold this. But my fear is that even if the, the town center gets up, the, there might be villagers that go down along the way. You can see him focusing out the first villager. Second villager going to be losing its life as well. Third villager now going to be under fire. And there it goes. Slowly but steadily, he's going to have to pull these bad boys back. And you can see the struggle that he's having. Three villagers now. Those longbow numbers starting to look a little bit thicker. Villagers being rotated out. He's going to be able to two-shot them right now. And it's going terribly for Wham at this point in time. He's committed as hard as he could to this town center. And you can't help but feel like it might been the wrong decision we did see a villager actually going down there but right now the villager number for wham gonna be on 17 compared to mister on 22 so a villager difference of five that's big that is really really big because it all comes down to tempo when you're playing on two tcs and as soon as you fall behind on the tempo what's going to happen is you're investing more resources in getting out your villages and because you're getting out your villages you know because you've got less resources to spend on your villages you're subsequently falling really far behind with military and so now i would expect that we see mr just completely go all in with this you know as we've seen him do more longbows uh, I, I would expect that we see a blacksmith coming down shortly three villages on gold's definitely going to end Indicate that one uh, but uh, now those longbows trying to find a little way in gonna be struggling there as the the town center gonna be able to fire down upon them oh town center there we go all right good good very fortunate on that wall position there i think if he made it through over to this spot town center may have just had a little bit of a blind spot so very fortunate walling there very very good foresight by him to do that but now, Mister, going to be looking to draw down upon these long or on these longbowmen to try and apply some pressure. Going to be losing one of them out there, and that's part of the reason why second town centers in this matchup are just so effective. Simply because they're well, not, not in this matchup, but just in general as the English, because you're able to get out so many more shots than what your enemy's expecting, and you're able to take out a lot of units really, really quickly. It's like a Gatling gun inside those bad boys. But we'll check back in over on the Mister's side. He's going to be looking to go for a castle age transition. Not something I expected out of him. I, I genuinely thought he'd be going a bit more heavy uh maybe looking to focus in on a potential battering ram but he's going to spot the stable out around the back as well and this is going to give him a bit of a read it's going to say well hey now i know not only are you on 2tc but you're also looking to get in a stable which means all of that food is going to be going towards those three things you're not going to have any food to age up and mister now coming around the backside looking to apply some pressure and this is something that we don't actually see much of super smart move like th th this reminds me a lot of what the mongols do they come out early in, in the gate early in the game uh, and they look to apply that pressure and you can see the longbows how much damage they're going to be able to do he's able to try and focus down the longbows but beautiful micro coming out from mister here he's going to make sure that he keeps those lower health ones in the back and bring them back and now at the same time he's i think he's has he even lost a longbow i don't even think he lost a longbow right there he's still got seven longbows now causing idle time for wham back here where i'm gonna have to move towards the front and i suspect wham probably knows about the impending imperial age when you see that much gold taken off and this many villages on gold you know or sorry did i say imperial age i meant castle age but you know what's coming up and now it, it, it's very interesting you know like a single wall back here for wham would have stopped this longbow attack because there would have been no way through and then he would have been absolutely fine but because of that happening he now has to move out under the berries at the front and that's a lot of walking distance you're talking about what 20 seconds by from getting going from this mill out to this one Whereas how much time would it actually take to get this wall down? Probably about the same amount of time. So a, a little bit of a mistake there coming out from Wham. But uh, he's going to be up against an opponent now in the Castle Age. King's Palace is going to be coming down for Mister here. So remember the King's Palace acts as a town center. So he's going to be essentially matching that town center from his opponent. Village account at the moment for Mister on 32. Compare that over to where Wham is at. And Wham is also on 32. Obviously Mister going to be adding in that second town center. So he's going to be able to keep up with his enemy. And he's going to be in the third age. So all the difference is now beginning to come in. I, I would expect that at this point Wham or, or Mister will be looking to go heavily, heavily, heavily into stables. And from that look to transition into knights. And there we see the first stable now coming down. A little bit of attention on that front side. Villagers getting taken out of single horseman. Looking to poke back a couple of these units. But we can see he puts the... The, the high health longbow towards the front and he, he tries to take the damage and indeed he does longbows demonstrating why they are so strong in these early stages of the game and where i'm going to be able to fall back towards this position a couple of farms going down some curious positioning here look at that one right there throwing it down on the very very corner he's going to be able to get that one up but uh i i don't know 
<laughs> I don't know how much I like it. It's it's very odd. I'll say that much, but obviously, you know what? It works. I'll let you do. Oh, you do you, yam. Yeah. You do you, yam. You do you, wham. Let's go with that one. Second stable being dropped down now for the mister. He's got enough in the bank for a third one as well. We see that scout moving back. It's going to spot these two. Also going to spot the age up coming through and wham. Probably realizing that he might be in trouble. He's going to continue walling up. He's walled up all, all, all of his base right now. Completely walled in. But those night numbers are going to continue to grow. Even if those walls are coming up. And it's going to be difficult for him to be able to fight out of the pocket. But uh, now Mr. going to be looking to age up. There it comes through. 10 minutes, 28. He's added in a second of, um, a second ring of farms around that mill. Or uh, how would I say that? A second, a second set of farms around the second mill. A second set of farms around the mill. Yeah, something like that. You guys get what I mean, right? Like, he's, he's putting down farms. That's what I'm, I'm getting going for right there. Monastery being dropped down in the middle. All three contested relics in the center. Looking very happy and healthy. One safe relic over here for Mr. Another safe relic up here for Wham. But all of these guys are in a pretty open and easily contestable spot for both players. Scout continuing to come through. We'll ride on board with Wham and see how he's doing. And you could see how far behind he is at this point. And it all comes down to losing those villagers. If he had canceled this town center, sure, he loses a lot. He loses the wood line. But he at least keeps those five, six villagers alive. Now, you know, th there. I guess there's an argument that could have been made that he could have just dropped an outpost here instead and then put the town center, you know, back over here. That he, he probably really regrets not doing that because he lost a lot of villagers there, a lot more than he thought he would have. Otherwise, he wouldn't have dropped it. It was just a terrible amount of damage that came through. And now, Wham is just so far behind because of that. And with this, Mister is po poised to potentially take this sixth game in the series and take this to a final game. Now, remember, Mister was down in this series 3-0. He's managed to bring it back at the moment to 3-2. There is the likely chance, there is the real possibility right now that Mister is going to be able to sneak in a third game against Wham and with that take it to game number seven now we saw in the game Puppy Paw versus Vortex that the same thing happened there three at nil and then managed to come back in the end Puppy Paw was victorious despite losing the three games immediately before that but it was scary and the same thing might happen to Wham here if he's not careful Night now coming out. So the, these Canadian bros, they seem to start off really strong and then begin to fizzle out towards the middle of the set. Outpost going to be coming up in this forward position. Knight's going to be moving out as well. We can see three knights out already for the Mr. Wham going to be looking to edge up now. King's Palace probably going to be coming down. I can't imagine him going for the White Tower. King's Palace, it is indeed going to be. Longbow's moving out of the base as well. Villager numbers at the moment, 51 compared to 47 for the Mister. So he's up by about four villagers. But the main thing you've got to worry about are those knight numbers. And we can see they are coming out in force here. It's going to be two knights uh, in queue at the moment. Now, one of the other factors to consider is that with that earlier age up time means earlier relic collection. So it's likely that we're going to see a 4-1 split here on relics. And so just when you thought, you know, things were going well. Well, I mean, not really well. I mean, he w Wham was holding on, right? Well, then you've got to consider that as well because that's where it starts to get really difficult. We see that those longbows still yet to get their plus one ranged attack in. Only going to be dishing out two damage a pop here. Did actually manage to take out this forward villager. So that outpost is going to be delayed a little bit. Monk going to be moving up. Actually trying to steal away that safer relic as well. I don't think he's actually going to be able to do a conversion. If he does, I think the villagers can just turn and take him out. The villagers have got three ranged armor. They've only got three ranged... Did they nerf villager... Didn't villagers used to have five bow attack? I swear they did, because five villagers would two-shot an enemy villager. Did they change the amount of damage that villagers did? Did they patch that when I wasn't looking? Relic going to get picked up. He spots the villagers, but he says, you know what? I'm just going to take the relic for now. I think they might have patched that. These guys are melee. They got their crooks out. These guys have got five boat. Oh, it might be five, three boat because they were killing. Maybe it's because they were killing the uh, the the deer. Maybe that's the reason why. Okay, so I'm I'm not too fussed now. I'm I'm pretty sure it must be three bow damage when they're killing the deer, five bow when they're killing anything else. But a bit of a weird weird uh, functional, a bit of a weird way to to demonstrate it. But now those knights moving up towards the north as well. We can see them hovering, looking. Mister gonna be able to find those villagers. He saw them a bit earlier, and with that, a big raid on this this deer pack here is gonna hurt a lot for Wham right now. He's gonna have to try his best to convert a few more farms over, and you can see the villagers running in the wrong direction. He's gonna get that gate down as quickly as possible, and now those villagers are going to be popping off five damage a shot so we were correct but losing how many villagers two four about four villagers there up against those three knights and mister looking really strong in this game sure he's down we've got one two three tc's here at the moment for wham he's on 61 villagers compare that to mister who's on on uh, 60 villagers but uh realistically i mean he's collected three of those relics so far you can see two with the third one on the way in now fourth relic easily 
fifth relic easy he's walling up the rest of the map gonna leave that gold vein out of the out of the wall interesting position instead of just going up for here which probably is a i guess a little bit safer but you can see counter walls coming out but look at this they're walling at the exact same position obviously there's a little bit of a a a uh a, a fold away from the the mean but uh at the exact same point they drop down that uh that wall very very cute right there Mr. still out on the map with his sheep. Elite Longbowman going to be coming in, looking to try and take out that scout. They're going to be successful here. And with that, going to be able to close down a lot of that information being gathered. We see Triple Barracks going to be coming in here as well for Wham. So if there is a miracle, he's hoping for it. He's thinking that he might be able to find it here. And realistically, I don't know what Wham could do in this position to try and save himself. Even if he goes fast Imperial, I just don't think there's a way that... There's no real way he can do it because even if even if he was on like elite knights, well then just veteran spearmen are just going to overwhelm him. We saw that in the earlier series that that spearmen you you just you you got to you got to respect them up against those veteran knights. It's, it's once the royal bloodlines or, or the uh, biology comes out that things get a little bit more real. But uh, even even elite knights up against veteran spearmen just get completely mauled. But now Mister starting to gather up more and more steam in the center here. Numbers looking healthy for him. He's picked up all five relics, and you can see him bringing back the fourth one. Fifth one going to be on the way back as well. I say four. It should be four. There it is. Fifth one on the way back now. So he's got all five relics in his name. Village account 69 versus 76. I don't have a co-caster. I've got to say it. Nice. 69 villagers for him. So only seven villagers behind, but realistically, just an infinite amount of gold ahead. Now, in this matchup, obviously, it means a little bit less relics because realistically, you're going to have enclosures in the late game. You're going to have 80 villagers on farm. So, you know, the difference between 1,000 gold a minute and 1,500 gold a minute, you're not really going to notice it as much as like, imagine if this was a China versus French matchup and you've got China with zero gold a minute versus France with 500 gold a minute. That's a big difference, right? But obviously here, it means a little bit less. But now, trying his best to come through on that front side. He's managed to wall up a fair amount on on this map so far towards the north towards the south completely walling out his enemy and beginning to take sacred sites as well trying to force his enemy to come out of the base he's just going to be able to leave him here for the moment you can see wham really struggling he's got the three town centers down but the village account nowhere near big as what it needs to be looks like he's going to be adding in another mill with another ring of farms but space is definitely going to be a commodity that he is short on right now mister on the other hand he's got the entire map under his control Monk going to be moving out to that third sacred site and going to be triggering that victory condition. Now, this is where it actually becomes a reality that you might lose to this sacred site victory. And a little bit of an overchop going to be coming through right now. Knights fortunately getting repelled out by the, the men at arms together. I think there's a couple of hardened spearmen in there. Am, am I going crazy? Did I, did I not see that right? I mustn't have seen that right. Men at arms together with the crossbows and longbows going to be working to push that back. At the same time, uh, we see that the knight's going to be breaking through on that south side. Looked very, very worrisome when all those knights were able to break through the wall. I don't think he was half expecting it to happen when it did. He's like, oh, oh, I bit off more than I can chew. I'm just going to back away from here. But we do see now over on that west side that that is going to be the third sacred site captured up for the mister. And he's looking in top form right now. The first three games going over to Wham. This is a best of seven series, which means he doesn't need three. He needs four. And it meant that he's just got one more to do it. The, the fourth game, he couldn't do it. The fifth game, he couldn't do it. The sixth game, that's the one we're in right now. It looks like he's not going to be able to do it. And I'm starting to get really worried for Wham because if Mr. wins this game, we're going to be going to game number seven and things are going to get really, really tough for Wham because the momentum is going to be behind the Mr. Everything is going to be behind the Mr. right now, except for Wham. He's not going to be behind him. He's going to be in front of him because Mr. Well, he's just going to have his daggers pointed directly in front, straight at Wham. And now we see more and more units beginning to come out. Mr. Looking very strong. Upgrades going to be coming through. Plus two, as well as fertilization. Herbal medicine also coming in. Herbal medicine coming in in, in, in 2022. And you're not playing the Delhi. That's a little bit strange, but the night number's looking healthy. Not a lot of spearmen out here. Only got the hardened upgrade. No veterancy just yet. Going to be trying on this front line. You can see him just picking off the crossbows on the back. The elephants. The elephants? I don't know where I got those from. The longbowmen going to be trying their best, but the night numbers are just so damn strong. He's got more knights than the men in arms right now. And Mr. looking incredibly strong. He's going to be able to overwhelm his enemy here. Keep in mind the chop through over on this, this, uh, this position means that he's going to just be able to run through, destroy the economy here. And good game gets called. Mr. ties up the series 3 3 and takes his to a final game ladies and gentlemen match point for both players and a golden ticket to the red bull wallalo legacy coming right up